Welcome to our weekly video blog brought to you by David Allen and Associates. I'm David Allen. We all eat, and many of us eat at fast food restaurants. But what happens if you're blind or legally blind and you can't see the menu? Well, that's what brings us to our case this week. It involves a woman who ate in her neighborhood. She went to fast food restaurants, she walked there. She was legally blind, had a little bit of vision, but was basically legally blind, could not drive. Would go into a fast food restaurant, could not read the menu, and p employees at the restaurant would read part of the menu to her, but not the entire menu, and sometimes they would even make a little fun of her. She got tired of this, and she brought suit. She sued the restaurants under the American with Disabilities Act, a federal law that says buildings must be accessible to those with handicaps. At the trial court level, federal court, trial court level, the court looked at this and said, you're out of here threw the case out. They said the restaurant didn't have an obligation to provide large print menus nor braille menus. Went up to appeal. At appeal, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals said there is a case here. She does have a cause of action because the restaurants undertook to partially accommodate her but did not fully accommodate her. They read part of the menu but not the full menu. As a result of that, they have an obligation to provide full accommodation and found that they were violating the Americans with Disabilities Act. As a result, they needed to change their course of action and they needed to, not only there, but any customers that they served, to provide full access to the menu by reading it or providing a braille copy. Now, how does this kind of a case wind up in federal court? It winds up there because people who have been denied access, have the ability to bring the claim, and have their attorney's fees paid, as well as being able to get the accommodation that they seek. This is one of the natures of the Americans with Disabilities Act. It provides widespread access for people who previously had difficulty getting places. We've all seen the handicap ramps. We've seen various things. Many people hail this act as saying it's provided more access to people who otherwise wouldn't be able to get into buildings, both public and private, than ever before. It's the nature of one of the things that many people say makes America a terrific place to live. I'm David Allen. This video blog is brought to you every week, bringing you breaking topics in the news and how the law impacts you. You can always reach us at davidallenlaw.com. With your questions, your comments, we'll be happy to discuss them. We're here for you.